This episode of Unscripted is brought to you by Dubby. Dubby is an energy drink that doesn't cause any jitters and gives you a bunch of energy to get all your gaming done. And uh, it energizes me to do Unscripted. So use code CROOKEDDOESSTUFF at W.GG and you'll get your own Dubby for 10% off. And you can also find a link in the description down below. So thank you, Dubby, for sponsoring this episode. And here's Unscripted. Hello everyone, I am Crooked and I do stuff, and this is Unscripted, the series where I take a completely unscripted looking game and give it a 1 through 10 rating. Today, we are playing Sonic Superstars for the PlayStation 5. Now, I have already played through this game, I have beaten this game, uh, I had to share this with everyone. If you notice, look at my data, we have all the Chaos Emeralds, we have that little icon above where it says Act 1. Um, that was me and Fichu playing, and we loved it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play as Lego Sonic here, and we're going to go through it, and uh, we'll just go over there everything. So, just to start off with the graphics, I love, love that they went to the anime style for, like, cutscenes and everything with Sonic, because it's so Sonic, and the humor is great, because, you know, Robotnik holds up the little piece of paper, and Fang is just like, yeah, you know... It tells so much, and there's no words being spoken. It's all just imagery, and it tells the story really, really well about what exactly is happening. Which I think it's important for games to be able to do that. Because having voice acting, stuff like that, that's always really important. But if you can't tell the story, you can't tell the story at all. And uh, nothing else is going to help that very much. So... Uh, yeah, uh, if you haven't heard, this is a traditional style Sonic, where it's like the originals. Um, so it very much has, whoa. Okay. Um, it has, you know, the ability to run and jump, and that's, that's Sonic. That's always been Sonic, right? So... The other thing this game has that um, is kind of more modern is every single character has their own special abilities that they can do. Uh, so, like, Knuckles, for instance. Knuckles can glide, and Tails can fly, just like you could in Sonic 2. Uh, Amy gets to double jump, and I wasn't really sure what Sonic's ability would be, because Sonic... Well, neither of us played a Sonic. I know, how, how terrible is it to play a Sonic game and not play as the main character? Uh, but you also get these really cool Chaos Emerald abilities. So when you get a Chaos Emerald, instead of just getting something that you can't really do much with, uh, you get to select an Emerald Tower. This one's Avatar, and it summons a bunch of you to go and attack. Uh, really cool feature. I used... A few of them, they're not something that's going to make or break the game experience. If you don't get the Chaos Emeralds, you're not going to be like, oh man, I can't beat this game. Because no, you totally can. Uh, they just make some things a little bit easier. They make some bosses easier. Stuff like that. Which I think is how it should be. Uh, it shouldn't be something that you absolutely have to get. Because they're bonus items. Um, not only that, but making a return from other Sonic games are the bonus levels. Uh, there's a few different styles of them, so I was hoping that this would actually show us one of the bonus stages. It didn't. Um, <laughs> it took us into an area to get rings. This one, this one will, though. So, uh, right here, you can collect these medals. Now, what those medals do is something really cool too because you can have uh, this custom avatar I don't think you can use them in the main game but you can do like a battle mode with your friends and if you do that you can use your little custom avatar that you made and you can make them look like Metal Sonic you can make them look like a number of different characters and there's different uh, power-ups and looks and everything it's really cool how it all works uh, I can probably show you after this level so, uh, I've talked enough about the history of Sonic, which, if you didn't know, the history of Sonic, well, Sonic is pretty ancient now, I'm surprised you don't know. Uh, <laughs> so let's get into the controls. Um, 
Like I said, you can use the right thumbstick to select a chaos power. You can use square to activate said power. Other than that, uh, everything's pretty much done with the X button. Uh, if you're on different platforms, like on Xbox, it's going to be the A button, and then on Switch, it'd be B to do everything. And, uh, yeah, it's just traditional Sonic to the core. Uh, if you've played Sonic Mania, same kind of thing, where you run, you jump, and it's Sonic. Um, it's really basic controls. You can do the spin dash by holding down on the ground. Uh, circle also jumps, so it's not like it's difficult controls uh, anyone can really play uh, it's also four player multiplayer so if you want to play with your friends everyone gets to you know pick a character that they want to be and it's a lot of fun um, it kind of adopts the same style similar to Mario where if you're playing with friends um, when someone dies they get to respawn after a certain period of time if they go off screen they just hit X and they warp right back to where you're at so it doesn't slow down the game at all. Uh, in terms of music, this game, and sound in general, this game absolutely does what Sonic needs to do. It gives you good, solid music. It gives you the classic Sonic sounds. It doesn't, you know, break any barriers with what it does or to do anything too new, but it does give you what you expect from a Sonic game, which is fantastic. Um, like I was saying, when it comes to the custom characters, so you can... Get different heads for it, different bodies, different arms, different legs. You can color it different things, and that's your little prototype guy that you get to do it with. Um, I didn't find any use for it other than, like, multiplayer, so I don't know if there is use for it. If there is, please let me know. <laughs> other than that, though, yeah, that that's where that's at. Uh, in terms of graphics... Look at this game. This game is beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it never stops being gorgeous. Uh, from the very first levels all the way to the end of the game, I was in awe over how good everything looked the entire time. It was just spectacular. Uh, everything looks the way that it should look for a Sonic game. It plays the way that it should play for a Sonic game. And it sounds the way that it should for a Sonic game. Which, if you're playing Sonic today, you're probably used to Sonic Adventure. You're probably used to Sonic Mania or even Sonic Origins, which are all kind of their own unique take on Sonic. With what I would say is Mania being the closest to a traditional Sonic game. And honestly, I would say out of every Sonic game that exists, there are definite contenders for what the best and worst Sonic games are. Like, everyone can pretty much agree, Sonic's a good game. Sonic 2 is gold. Sonic 3 is great. Sonic and Knuckles, great. Like, we, we haven't had a shortage of good Sonic games back in the day. Modern day, we've had a huge shortage. Where we've had Sonic and the Dark Knight, Sonic Advance, uh, Sonic Adventure. We've had all these other games, but none have really captured the essence of Sonic. Until Sonic Mania, which was a fan game. And then everyone was like, well, they're never going to do that again. And, well, I'm here to tell you... They did it again, and boy, did they do it again. Sonic Superstars is exactly what you would want from a Sonic game. Let me show you how this works, just so I can show you while I'm in a boss. It, all the little Sonics come out, and they're like, yo, what up? And they start doing my job for me, so I don't have to work as hard. It's kind of nice. And then, you know, I get hit and lose all the 190-some-odd rings I had. Which, that's another thing that I really like about this game, is it starts off easy. Anyone can play this and not have an issue. And then it gets hard. Like, there were definite struggle points. 
Um, the other thing that's really cool is if you notice, there's no time countdown, so you can really explore. That does change on some later levels. Uh, and there's no life counter. The reason why there's no life counter is if you die, you just start over. Um, I think Fichu and I died like 12 times on the last level. And every single time we died, we just started right before the last boss. It made it really accessible and fun. And we weren't like, ugh, we have to go through this whole level again. No, we just had to go through... The last boss section, which it was great. There are a few frustration points, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing where you're hating it because of the way the game is designed. It's very heavily a game where if you put in the time, you're going to beat it. it whether you're good at Sonic, whether you're bad at Sonic, you have the ability to beat this game. Uh, which leads me into a score for Sonic. So, uh, if you notice, I've given it nothing but praise, and that's because, honestly, if you were to ask me, describe a perfect Sonic game, I would tell you to go play Sonic Superstars, because this is the best of every Sonic, uh, and it also has the ability to go Super Sonic, and unlike other games, where you have to have over 100 different rings for it you only need 50 and it it's basically a cheat code but it's okay because well it's supersonic what is it supposed to be you're you're goku basically so honestly with a score there's only one thing i can give this and it's a 10 out of 10 because this is one of the best Sonic games to ever exist, if not the best Sonic game to ever exist. And I highly recommend everyone checks it out. Even if you didn't like other previous Sonic games, try this one out. Pick up Tails, pick up Knuckles, pick up whoever you want. Pick up Amy, she's a ton of fun. She has a double jump, which completely, completely changes Sonic. And, you know, just have fun. Um, the game's been on sale quite a few times already, and I was hesitant at first, but honestly, this is a perfect Sonic game. And in a lot of ways, pretty much every way, it, it's really a perfect game. It has everything that you want. It has good difficulty. It's not going to be too challenging for anyone who's new. It is going to be a challenge for anyone who's really trying to collect everything. And it, it's just fantastic time the entire time. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Sonic game is. Like this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Hit that subscribe button so that way you never miss out on an episode of Unscripted. And hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever a new episode of Unscripted comes out. And with all that being said, I do want to thank you for watching Unscripted. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye!